Kyiv Telefilm Company. Without You, Episode 1. Twenty years earlier. Headquarters. Ah! That's it, you have lost. Metro, it's not fair. Don't be mad. You were looking in the wrong place. Katya, you're a shitty detective. You're the shitty one. I will be a cop like my dad when I grow up. Grow up first. I'll make a detective before you do. I'm five years older than you. I'm smarter though. Is five years a long time? Not long. But I'll still have to wait for you to graduate, go to college. Mom says you can only get married after college. I could drop out of school so that you didn't have to wait. Don't you dare. You can't drop out of school. I can wait. What would I do without you? That's right. What did I tell you? You should skewer them tighter or the juice will leak. Next time you'd eat if you're so smart. Firstly, this is fat, not juice. Secondly, leave your wife alone. Olga is pure gold. She's a better cook than you, too. Okay. I wonder where the kids are. They must be playing somewhere, you think? Maybe I should go get them. Why not? They'll come as soon as they catch the aroma. Don't panic, ladies. Hey, everyone. Here I come. Hi. Brandy for the gentlemen, wine for the ladies. Olga? Yes? Your favorite. Semi-sweet. Thanks, Anatoly. Where did you get it? Have you raided an illegal winery? I'm offended. It's from my own cellar. The train is departing. Choo-choo! Choo-choo! We need to celebrate the opening of this criminal case. We don't often get to catch such a big fish. Maybe we should wait for the conviction. Come on, come on, let's go! Choo-choo! Olga! Our husbands sound like fishermen rather than detectives. Mikola, don't even mention this fish. When I think of the risk you take. Oh, you're exaggerating. It's our job. Protecting our motherland. Some protectors you are. Cover for me. Got it? What's wrong? Everything's fine. Let's check the wheels. The wheels are fine. Anatoly, is burning. The meat. I know. Do you? 
Doesn't look like that. Are we going to eat raw meat again? Burned from the outside. Watch how you talk to your seniors. Svetlana? Yes? Could you give me a hint? Sure. Alisa, the train has arrived. I wonder where the older kids are. We should go look. See, it's burning. Not for the first time, don't panic. Burn barbecue won't lure them in. See, the coals, you need to crush them. With what? Here. All right. Where can they be? Baby, baby, look who is here. Godfather. Hi, old boy. It has been a while. Come on, you're right on time. Uncle Grigory's car is so cool. The engine boils, though. You, Schumacher. Why do you let the kids roam around alone? I saw them at the abandoned lodge. There are all sorts of people in the woods. Why did you wander off so far? I told you not to. Go inside now! Wait, we need to talk. Alisa, hi, Foxy! Hi, Nelly. Where have you been? Not far, Mom. I kept an eye on her, Auntie Olga. Who was keeping an eye on you? I will. Why the hell did you screw with Adamovsky? Are you out of your mind? Do you think you're immortal? You'll bury yourself, not him. If you don't care about yourself, think about your family. They'll kill them too. How do you know all this? How did you find out about Adamovsky? A little bird told me. A bird. A criminal one. One of your friends? How many times did I tell you? You took a wrong turn and it won't end well. You're mingling with the wrong people. And you aren't. Why stir up the hornet's nest? Adamovsky won't let it go. He has already been told that you've opened the case. He's furious. Let him. It will be good for him. The law is on my side. Come on. Adamovsky doesn't live by your laws. Don't you see? He lives by his own. You are a thorn in his backside, and he gets rid of such thorns quickly and effectively. Has Adamovsky sent you to me with a message? Do you work for him? You fool. We've been together all our lives, and now... Okay, listen. A friend of mine has a house in the next town. It used to be his parents. He gave me the keys. Take your woman and go today. Tell your bosses you're sick or something. Just make sure you go there today. Before Adamovsky makes his move. Wait, are you kidding? Do you see me laughing? Do you see me running away from problems? All right. I see you don't get it. It's not problems I'm talking about. It's your death. This is divine. Put them in here. Why put barbecue in a pan? It tastes better on a skewer. They'll get cold quicker. No one wants cold barbecue. Come on. We'll just wash them down with brandy. You and your brandy. Svetlana, are you saying I'm an alcoholic? I only drink on holidays. Every day is a holiday for you. Svetlana, why are you so nervous today? I'm not. Listen, Svetlana. Listen, Anatoly. I'm not blind. I'm not a detective. But I'm not a fool either. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing. Go on with the barbecue. Don't just stand here. I gave you the pan.
What do you suggest? Bury my head in the sand? He's terrorizing the entire city. He has taken over all businesses. You know how many bodies of his opponents we have fished out of the river? He gets away with everything. Because he has friends in high places, okay? And you don't. He can talk to them in their language. He'll get away with killing you too. You need to run now. My good father is here. Dmitro, keep an eye on the barbecue, okay? Sure, Aunt Yolga. Think about your girls. He'll bury you all in concrete and build a house over it. Grigory, you finally come, stranger. You bastard. You forgot all about us. Childhood friend, yeah? How could I? I'm always there for you. You're my only family. You know how much I love you. Where's Foxy? Playing in the yard. She'll be so happy. Come on, let's go inside. The barbecue is almost ready. No, wait. You have company. Maybe I shouldn't. Don't be silly. My house is your house. Okay. <laughs> Girls, look who's here. Foxy, look how big you are. Look at you. Do you remember me? I am your godfather, Uncle Grigory. I gave you the steady. Another month and she would have forgotten. Here, this is for you. Take it. And for you. Uncle Grigory, pick me up too. Kata, you're too big for it. I can handle you too. Hi, my dear. Hi, how are you? Not bad. It has been a while. I was busy. Busy with what? Anatoly. Am I wrong? Mikola? Sweetheart. Can I have a word? So, Katya, what grade are you in? Second, Uncle Grigory. Listen, what is he doing here? Anatoly, not this again. He's my old friend and my kid's godfather. He can come whenever he wants. Excuse me for being blunt. But he's a criminal, a lock picker. What is his record? Two convictions? Three? You think it's a good idea? I know he's no saint. But we've been friends since the orphanage. He's like family. He's one of mine. I can't ditch him. You need to choose who is yours. Listen. You're a police officer. You can't be friends with a criminal. What if someone finds out? Your career will be over. Don't you get it? I promise you he will quit. I'll get to him. Here comes the biggest bubble. My experience tells me guys like him never change. Didn't work out. Tell me the truth. How many times have you helped him? Offered him to find a good job? I'd love to help too, if you ask me. But he doesn't want it. He wants easy money, not a 9 to 5 job. As I said, guys like him never change. He'll drag you down with him too. I promise you he will change. Sure. In the next life. Here, Foxy. What are we doing here, guys? Enough secrets. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. The meat will get cold. Olga, give me a hand. I made those myself. Good job. Got that chart. I'll take the pot. Let's take them inside. Olga, can I have a word? Sure. Is something wrong? Not yet, but it might. Your husband has crossed the path of a very bad guy. He is dangerous. So? That's what Mikola does. Chases criminals. Not like this. This time it's different. Please talk to him. Make him leave the city today. You all are in danger. How dangerous is it? Let's see. I don't want to bring flowers to your graves. Believe me, it's a ruthless man. Is she dead? Tell me. My dear girl. Easy, easy, calm down. It's his fault. He made her do it. Please, don't go. Don't leave me. Please, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Please, don't leave me. Pulse. We have a pulse. 
Get her in the ambulance. I'm coming with you. No, you're not going anywhere. You aren't. It's all your fault. I'm your mother. I will go. Cursed by the day that she met you. Did you hear her? I had a call from the police today. They said this detective, Zharinov, is going to file a case against me. You promised me everything was under control. A case? On what ground? I got rid of the witnesses. They found other witnesses. I look at you, Alexa, and I wonder if you're dumb or are just pretending. They have enough proof. That's not what bothers me. Where did he get it? What bastard has ratted me out? I... I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to jail. Either you get rid of this copper today and do it cleanly, with no evidence and no witnesses to surface later. Or my daughter will become a widow after my granddaughter's death. You two have virtually nothing in common. Right? You're more of a trigger for her now. Reminding her of the tragedy. I hope I've made myself clear. I... I will do everything you say, Zahar. Good. Remember, either you get rid of Jarino, or I get rid of you. Go. Evgenia, is Lisa okay? How is Lisa? Not good. Now they've saved her, but tomorrow she'll take pills or hang herself. Nothing anchors her to this world after her daughter's death. I'll think of something. I'll find a way. What way? There is no way. You can't bring your daughter back, and she can't have another baby. Away, away. It's uh, your fault, your fault. I hate you. Cursed be the day that she met you. I hate you. Hate you. I'll take care of some business and join you guys. Do you promise? I promise. Don't be too worried. You know Grigori. He should play Hamlet with all this drama he has in him. I think he's exaggerating. In this case, why do we have to leave? That's the only way to shut him up. It'll be good for him to spend time with his goddaughters, too. You also need a break from me. I don't need a break from you. Okay, guys. Cut the PDA. It's time. Girls, get in the car. Okay, good luck. Right back at you. Remember, we expect you tomorrow. Or I'll come back for you. I mean it. Are you okay? If it's all a false alarm... I wish it were. Do you think I want to get involved? I can get hurt, too. Take a leave and come tomorrow. Mikola, I don't want to lose my brother and the only family I have. You won't. 
Okay. Must be Grigory. Did your father-in-law send you? Aren't you his errand boy? If you're so smart, you must know why I'm here. Moreover, I know that you've wasted time and gas. I don't negotiate with criminals. Negotiate? You seem a smart man, Mikola Zharinov. But in fact, you're an idiot. Don't you know they won't let you convict my father-in-law? Who are they? You? You won't stop. Will you? Go away. That was rude. Well, you've been warned. Do you know who I am? I'm a police officer. In this world, beyond the whale, who knows? You know who you're messing with. Hands off. Hello. Good evening. I wanted to inquire about Lisa Zubova's condition. She was admitted today. Suicide attempt. Alisa, be good for your mama. It's your bedtime. Try to go to sleep. Mom! Why didn't Dad come with us? He has to work tomorrow. He'll come as soon as he's done. Where are we going? To the beach? No, darling. Baby, please don't fuss. Katya, we're going to visit my friend in another city. They have this beautiful park there. A circus, too. You will love it. Wow. The beach would be better. That only took us once. Mom, why didn't we take Dmitro? Auntie Svetlana wouldn't say no to me. You can separate these two. Katya, Dmitro needs to go to school. So do I. It's okay if you miss a few days. You can play with Dmitro when we come back. Where is my teddy? I want my teddy, teddy. Teddy. Yes, where's your teddy? She must have left it at home. Grigory, let's go back. We need to go back. She can't sleep without her teddy. Oh, God. Foxy, why don't I buy you a new one? I don't want a new one. I want my teddy you gave me. It will only get worse. You know, Foxy, she won't give up until she gets it. Better turn around. She won't let it go. Okay. You will not get away with that. You think so? An old cabin? It shows that it belongs to an honest cop. The wiring is probably old, too. Have you replaced it? You should have. The stove is probably old, too. You know how many fires are caused by stoves? Get the gasoline.
Okay. You guys stay here. I'll be right back. No, I'll go. It will be quicker. You don't know where it is. Mom, I'll come with you. Okay, Katya, stay with Uncle Grigory. Okay, Mom. Come on, Foxy. Hurry up. I'll turn around the car. Come on, show me where you left it, okay? Okay. Don't worry. We'll find your teddy. Kill him. Mikola? Mikola! Mikola! My God! Mikola! 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 Why? Why? Mikola! 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 Mommy! Daddy! No. What's taking them so long? What is it with you women? You just can't do anything quickly. Okay, stay here. I'll go get them. Uncle Grigory, can I come with you? I'm bored. Stay here. There is another girl in the pick. She might be a witness. Find her. Uncle Grigory, why? Hush, hush, hush. Oh, what about mom? I said quiet. Shit. Uncle Grigory, what's wrong? Quiet. I'll tell you later. Get in the car. Come on, go. Where are Mommy and Foxy? I'm not leaving without them. Quiet. Let's go. Chef. Boss, there's no one around. Maybe the other girl wasn't here. Maybe. Okay, clean up this place. Make sure this family doesn't make problems again. What the hell? What kind of car? Did you see the license plates? No, they were smeared with mud. The girl from the picture, she was in it. Who was driving? I didn't see him. Find the driver and the girl and take care of them. Quick, open the gate. Godfather, why Mom and Foxy didn't come with us? We are supposed to be together. They had to stay. They'll join us later. You'll stay with me for a while. When is later? Later is later. I don't want to live with you. I want Mommy, Daddy, and Foxy. Katya, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It's just that we need to leave right now. But why? I will explain later. I promise. For now, just trust me. You'll be fine. I promise.
Margot. Margarita. A drink? Yes. We're here. Get out. No, I want a drink. Is it warm? I'm hungry. He's hungry. <laughs> Uncle Grigori, where are we? At your friend's place? Something like that. A girlfriend. Do Mom and Foxy know where it is? Will they come? Enough questions. Let's go. Hi, handsome. I wanna have some fun? I've had enough for today. Let's have a drink. Let's. <laughs> Good luck, darling. Hey, what are you doing here, darling? I came with Uncle Grigori. I see. Well, baby, let's have fun. Are you kidding me? You want me to raise your daughter with another chick? Grigori, you are too much. Lucia, don't be a fool. I told you she's my goddaughter. She's my friend's daughter, Mikola and Olha. I told you about them. You mean the guys from your orphanage? Yes. They were killed today, almost in front of me. The worst part is that those bastards saw Katya. We barely escaped. What would I do with her? You know, I live between a rented place and a prison cell. A child needs some stability. Take her to an orphanage? Are you crazy? They'll find her there. The guy who had her folks killed is connected. What do I care? I have enough on my plate. Do you? If you don't help me, you won't see me again. Got it? There's enough fish in the sea. If you help me, though, Katya will bond us for life, married or not. Is this real vodka? I drink it and don't get drunk. Grigory, I want to leave too. What if they find her here? They will kill us both. Think about it. Who will look for a kid in a brothel? Listen. We'll change her name. Get her new papers. I know a guy who can do it. I'll send you child support. Are you still saying she isn't your daughter? Do you think I'm stupid? Mommy, daddy! The entire family is dead. Katya, what is it? They showed our picture on TV. They said we died in a fire. Our cabin burned down. Godfather, it isn't true. I'm alive. I want mommy, daddy, and Foxy. Katya. Take me to them, please. Katya, this is what life is like. Fires happen, people die. We will all die one day. I want to be with them, mommy, daddy, and Foxy. Katya. Here, drink. Are you out of it? Who do you think I am? It's sedative. Drink it, baby. Drink. Still, she can't stay. It's the only option. I don't care. I'm not Mother Teresa. I have enough problems of my own. I won't keep her. I have... Quiet. You come and go, and you want me to take care of her all the time. No, thanks. My girls give me enough trouble, and this one... Besides, I have no clue what to do with a kid. I never had one. And you never will. How many abortions have you had? Who made me have them? Enough. Why don't you adopt a big kid like her? No diapers, no sleepless nights. Are you for real? She's not a stray dog to leave for me to babysit. Thanks, but no. Thanks. The girl is your problem, not mine. Okay, whatever. At least I tried. Can we at least stay for the night? Since you're here, you can stay. 
Listen, do you have any of my clothes? In the bedroom closet. Where are you going? To the bathroom, may I? God. He has run away. Shit. Where's Uncle Grigory? Not here. He's gone. You can't trust men. Okay, stop crying. I said stop it. Men are pigs. They betray you. How many times has he dumped me? But not me. Uncle Grigory always loved me. Now everyone has abandoned me. Mommy, Daddy, my sister. Okay, let's go. Sit down and stop crying. It won't bring them back. I want my mommy. Doesn't matter what you want. Your mom is gone. You have no one. Except maybe me. But you don't like me. I don't. But I can't throw you out in the street. Grigory will come back. He always does. I need to think what I will do with you. First of all, you need a new name. Why? I like being a Katya. Because now you have a new life, a new destiny. So you need a new name too. Let's find something special. Katya, Karina, Kira, Cla Clara. Clara sounds good. Clara it is. I don't want to be called Clara. Nobody cares. Katya is gone. Remember, gone. And so is your old life. It'd be better for you to accept it and move on if you don't want life to crush you. Life doesn't like those who wallow in self-pity. It only respects strength and like those who go for it and know what they want. Got it? So what will it be? Sit here and whine and pity yourself or... Present time. What do you think? Cool. <laughs> Just be careful. Right, of course. Dmitro, this is awesome. Fantastic. The most unusual date in my life. I'm a modest lead teacher, and I only had dates at a library or a bookstore. But an art exhibition just for me at night. By the way, won't you have problems because you brought me here? No, no, I mostly work at nights. I install exhibitions. No kidding. What did you say this style was called? New mysticism. It's based on esoteric and metaphysical world. This picture is amazing. So much mystery, so much mysticism. Mystery? 
Yes. Think about it. Who is this woman? What is she thinking about? Why the other wanted to paint her? There is mystery in every woman, I think. <laughs> Not at me, though. In our three dates, I have told you all about myself. You don't talk about yourself, though. What is there to tell? I mostly... Work? Work is all my life. I'm a senior research fellow and a decorator. Do you want to see the gem of this show? The golden ball. It's from a private collection. Sure I do. Come on, it's in here. Wow, is it real gold? Yeah. All of it? Well, yes. Don't touch it, though. All right, sure. There are invisible infrared rays and a laser alarm. It activates when I turn it on. How exciting. A multi-level security system. That's why collectors trust us. It's all so exciting. I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid my mother will be word sick. I need to go. Well, it's a pity. Let me at least drive you home. Sure, thanks. This looks serious. This is me. See the lit window? Mom is waiting up for me. Thank you for this wonderful night. Shall I see you again? Of course. I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hello, I need a taxi. Thank you. Look at this chick. Babe, wanna hang out? You punk. You know where I'll stick your knife? How many times? I didn't recognize you, sorry. What's that, cosplaying? Right. Hey, you. Does your mom know about it? Hey, it cost me some. Sit down, or better yet, go do your homework. I'll tell Ella about the beer. What for? Mom won't appreciate it. This is debatable. Jenny, you should read more classics. You make my ears bleed. Look who's here, Clara. Can I borrow 50 bucks for a chocolate bar? Uncle Peter, sweets are bad for you. I'll do her. She'll do you first. She wouldn't give me the money for chocolate. Well, did you do it? I'm still casing the joint. I'll die while you are casing it. I need the cash for my surgery, you know that. You are ungrateful bitch. I raised you, didn't throw you out. Huh? Is she new? Lucy, you said you had retired. How much for this beauty? Get out of here. What are you doing? He's my guest. You have no right to treat my guests like this. You, listen. You are a bitch. You are ungrateful bitch. I raised you, I fed you, and you... You should thank me at least for this. 
You are ungrateful. I raised you. I didn't make you work for me. You should be grateful at least for this. I could have made you work for your food and the lodging. I saved you. I gave you education. How dare you, bitch. Listen, my godfather had been giving you money for me. If anything happened to me, you'd lose your head. That is why you didn't make me work for you. As for my education, is this what you call education? Come on, go. Sleep it off. You should thank me, you bitch. Give me the money. Freeze! Put it down. Okay, okay, I'm putting it down. All right. Hands on your head. Okay, got it. No need to yield. It's okay. Don't move. I'm not. It's fine. It's fine. Shit. Go. It's closed. Check the hallway. Two in the hallway, one to the right. Where are you going? Mitra, hi. What are you doing here? Sorry, I need to run. No need to run. Investigation department, Dmitro Trubetskoy. Shit on a shingle. Auntie was right. Men are pigs. Go ahead. I don't like my room. I booked five stars. This isn't even two. Ouch. Where are my slippers and bedrop? Easy, easy. Make yourself at home. That's great. Thanks, Godfather. Great gig you have sent my way. Daddy, daddy! Yes, baby? Look, I'll make up like you when I grow up. I'm sure you will be. No. What a great cup I've made. At least my family can see me now. I'm home. I've been looking at your old photos, trying to figure out who our baby will take after. Nadia, I'm sorry. I was held up at work. As usual. You don't need to explain. I'm sorry. I really couldn't leave sooner. I didn't know you were planning a candlelit dinner. 
It was supposed to be a surprise. It failed. You know I work irregular hours. Yes, I know. It used to be the same for me when I was a star at my theater, instead of staying at home, like an idiot with my growing belly and my morning sickness. So there. Dmitro, I've been meaning to ask you. I can't help wondering. Would you marry me if I didn't get pregnant? Nadia, what are you talking about? We've been together for two years. It was serious even before the baby. Was it? I wish I could believe you. <laughs>